this tutorial i will or we will create our next pose at frame 4 and the reverse pose for the frame frame 4 will be at 16 frame and it will be just like the reference image so let's go to frame 4 here is our frame 4 and this pose will be just like this one the left leg touching the ground or grid make sure that your auto key is turned on select the left leg controller heel lift make it zero select the pelvic controller or main joint controller slightly move it up select the right leg controller make it flat touching the ground now again select all the controller i skip the video all our controller has been selected press case to make keyframe again now let's jump into the frame 16 again go to the frame 4 select the left leg controller right click on the frame 4 copy the value go to frame 16 select the right leg controller that means the opposite leg controller right click paste and paste now again go to frame 4 select the right leg controller right click copy go to frame 16 select the left leg controller right click and paste it here now again go to frame 1 click play and see the effect see let's create our next pose at 10 and the reverse pose for the frame 10 is at frame 22 and it will be just like this that means it will be like the reference image so go to frame 10 select the left leg controller make sure your auto key is turned on move the leg down now move the leg controller slightly back and rotate it just like this move slightly up rotate this one rotate as shown move up select the main joint controller see the pose for frame 10 adjust with your reference image there is no need to change the right leg now go to frame 22 and check it again go to frame 10 which selected the left leg controller 
right click copy the value go to frame 22 select the right leg controller on frame 22 right click click paste now again go to frame 10 with selected the right leg controller right click copy the value go to frame 22 select the left leg controller right click and paste now click play and see the effect see let's check it on the side view how it is looking see it look like a beautiful work cycle for this character playback speed real time select select all the controller i skip the video now again go to animation workspace select all the keyframe which you have created for this character now click spline again go to general workspace go to perspective view click play and see the effect see now again go to show viewport turn of the controller and see this is the beautiful work cycle i have told you about at the beginning of this tutorial thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel